In this question, we have the elevation of a sphere given to you in contact with a cone. And in this question, what we have to do is bring this sphere down into plan and position it correctly. The key problem with this question is, if we bring the center point of the sphere, as we do in all orthographics, straight down, in this question we don't know how far down it is. So the key to answering this question is in elevation. We're going to move this sphere in elevation and we're going to put it touching the side of the cone in elevation and once we've touched the side of the cone we're going to bring it down and move it around in plan. So to show you how this is done first of all we're going to bisect the angle here now so we set our compass any size at all and then from this point with our compass draw an arc and from this point draw an arc now this is to bisect the angle so when we have the angle bisected we'll bring our center point straight across and the reason we can bring it straight across is the height of this sphere will not change. Now this here is the new center point for the sphere. So if I was to draw the sphere in this location it would be touching the ground and touching the side of the cone. Now so it's touching the side of the cone here touching the ground here. Okay. Now we draw this lightly because we don't actually need it. All we're looking for in this question is this point here to bring it down. Now when we're at this stage it's a good idea to find the point of contact. So one method of finding the point of contact is go from the center of our new sphere bring it down at 90 degrees. Now this here is the point of contact when the sphere is touching the side of the cone. Now to answer this question all we're going to do now bring the center point of our sphere straight down bring our point of contact also straight down and from the center point bring a line straight out. Now in this location here that's the center point of a sphere which touches the cone when it's touching the side of the cone. What we're going to do in this question then, setting our compass to the center of the cone, rotate the new center point around until it crosses over the line brought down from the correct position. So this here is our new center point in plan in the correct location. Now we set our compass back to 30 mil and draw the new plan. So this is the new plan in its lo location. Now for the cone we're going to draw the base of it in heavy. I draw that dotted because that's dotted there. Now the last point we'll rotate around is our point of contact. So our point of contact is here and to find the location of the plan we join our two center points together. So this is point of contact here. We bring our point of contact vertically up and to find where it is positioned in elevation. We already have it when it's touching the side. So we just bring the height straight across. And if we mark off POC, point of contact, and POC. And that's all that's involved in this question.